Okay, part two of three things about life. The next three. Number one, do not give a pittance to people who speak negatively about you. They have no better thing to do. I'm telling you, there are people who always say negative things about you. This world is filled with negative and evil people, bad people who will lie about you consistently, especially when you're rising to the top. If you give too much patterns to what people think and say about you negatively, you will never take the bull by the horns in life and do anything. There are times you have to act a bit of, I don't care. I don't, I don't give a, a, whatever it is about what you're doing or saying. I almost said something that I would have said about 40 years ago. Anyway, but don't give a pittance to what people think about you. Once you know you're doing the right thing, that's fine. They have no better thing to do. And you are a topic because you are doing something right. That is the first thing I want you to know today. And God will bless you. There are many people in this life, they listen to people and they ended up losing everything with their, in their lives. Be careful. Ignore tail bearers. Ignore jealous people. Ignore people who have nothing to do, but they are using you as a news item. In the world today, social media is full of such people. Bullies. People are trying to make money off important people. And so on and so forth. Number two. <clears throat> Remember, you are not perfect. You are not perfect and will make mistakes. But keep prodding on. It should not put you down. We all have made mistakes and are still alive. And we still continue to make some mistakes. But remember, you are not perfect. Not like the one who is videoing me right now. His company and himself, they are called perfect. And even though he's very perfect, ah, uh, he makes mistakes. Makes mistakes with his time. Makes mistakes... His guys made a mistake with videoing me and sometimes when I have my head down like this, instead of telling me, lift up, lift up, they video me that way like last week's videos, last two weeks and three weeks videos. But remember this, he's a good guy and he does a great job. Don't think you are perfect because you are not. People strive too much for perfection, don't enjoy life. They struggle and they just die without achieving anything. Because God did not create us to be perfect. He created us to make mistakes. And when we make mistakes, we know we are not God. And then we look back at our mistakes and correct it for the future. We are not perfect people. We make mistakes. When you make a mistake, it's a door to another blessing. It's a step or steps to another level in your life. It's a learning process. Always remember that. Number two, never postpone today's duties for tomorrow. Free yourself for the decisions of tomorrow that you will take. So if you can do something today, you need to free yourself, do it, then it, tomorrow becomes easier. Sometimes you have to do it at the detriment of a little bit of your health and tiredness. Today, most pastors in this city met with a presidential candidate. I was tired when I came back to the office. I was stressed out. My videographer was here. He said, let's just do one or two of this series on three things. And I said, I am tired. My son came out. I said, I am tired. This person said, let me just do one. I am tired. And I know myself, once I sit there and I say I'm going to do it, I end up doing three or four. But here is the thing. I am freeing myself by doing these videos now so that I can do other things tomorrow or Wednesday when we have other video shoots to do. So sometimes, if you can do something now, don't procrastinate, don't postpone it. You might miss great opportunities and you will save time if you do it now. And remember, once you do it now, you'll feel content and satisfied at the end of the day. What I can do today, I will do. Say that to yourself. What I can do today, I will do today. What is for tomorrow? Tomorrow will come. By the grace of God, we will fulfill and achieve. Whatever duties I have to do today, 
must be done, must be done, must be done today. No procrastination, which is the thief of time. And the final one, if you can get someone to do a duty for you, especially if you have the resources, in the same way you would do it or even better, allow them to make a living. They'll bless you for it. So sometimes um, I can take my phone, set my phone up, uh, set a microphone up, and then begin to video myself. But luck with that will look very awkward and family and sorry and funny. Because then I'll be trying to do everything, preach, video myself, and I'll end up stressing myself up and wasting time and energy. But I have a young son of mine. Perfect. He also has to make a living. This is the job he does. And he does it with perfection. I should allow him to do it. Then, he gets some money for it. He will marry in future. And then he will be able to look after his wife. And all these little, little businesses on the side from his major businesses, which is good pocket money for him, he will always say, thank you, daddy. And you know the good part of it? When you need him free, I can bully him small and get him to do certain things for me free. That is the way life is. If somebody can do something for you, and he can do it even better than you can, mm -hmm. allow them to do it. If you have the resources to pay somebody a little, as a seed, God will bless you. It will come back to you. Don't try to be every man, every person, everybody's everybody. You are not God. You are a human being, and you get exhausted and tired. Remember, if there's something that somebody else can do better than you and you have the resources to pay them, go ahead, pay them to do it and they will do it well. Why do we take drivers? They're telling me that by the time I hit 65, they don't want me to drive anymore. I'm trying to fight it. I love driving. I love traveling long distances, driving a car. But I'm growing. I have to stop that. And they're right. I argued with them. And I'm wondering how they manage that when they are living in their own houses, you know? And they come to seize the keys or what? But I have to listen. Somebody has to do something. A driver has to get a salary. I have to get a cook. My wife, I've told her, I'm fed up with her cooking. Not because she can't cook. She's stressing herself out. She has to do other things. All the children are grown up. The grandchildren come around periodically. She should get somebody to handle those things. I have a security. I have a, uh, by the grace of God, a house um, help. Now, all these people are doing these things, and it frees us to do other things. But at the same time, it gives somebody a salary. What somebody can do for you and do better, or just like you would do it. Don't do it. Allow the person to do it especially if you have the resources to pay that person. God bless you. See you another time.